week's caution. Earlier, I had introduced Hanson Johnson, who is a technical talent developer and CEO of Start Innovation Hub. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you very much for, me. Join it, for joining us uh, today. It's International Youth Day, and uh, discussions have trailed uh, the uh, theme of this year, from clicks to progress. Very quickly, what does this mean for most uh, uh, Nigerian youths? Progress means hope, means that bright future that we have been en envisaging, means that level playground that once you have access and you can click, there's bound to be progress. So we look forward to encouraging as many more people click so that we can progress. And by so doing, we make Nigeria the greatest nation that we look forward to have as our own. Thank you. Innovation Hub, and I believe uh, you you work a lot around technology, AI, innovations, and, and all of that, those uh, sort of things. Uh, there's actually a, a topic of interest, especially regarding uh, stigmatization of people who are known to be tech savvy, people who you know are known as tech tech bros or tech sis in in this context especially by security uh, operatives in the country. That is uh, the point I want you uh, to make. How can we uh, create a level playing ground where this uh, stigma is taken away and you know people are allowed to freely express themselves in the creative way that uh, they know how to do? In a way, during your last session with the other guests, you attempted to answer even that question because why people harass, why the security operatives harass, you know, they don't understand. And before now, you wealth what's supposed to be, you know, you, you have to attain a, le a certain level of age, you know, before you can be seen as being wealthy. But today, information is everywhere. If you're not if you're not doing well, it means you are limited to the kind of information you are accessing. So the younger ones that can access this information are taking advantage of it and they are using it to live a better life. I am not saying that there are no bad eggs that are doing other things, you know, still to, to, to live in quote a better life by, by, by being a victim or by making victims out of innocent people. So those ones are there, but there are more intelligent ways to fetch out these people. You don't have to harass someone to be able to identify, harass someone and jail the person before you now apologize that, oh, sorry, we thought you were this kind of person. And it has even gone worse at some points that we see that even when you have proved beyond every reasonable doubt that you are not one of those people, they still harass you and extort from you. So education, not in the part of the young people alone, but in the part of the security operatives will also help solve this problem. I'm solutions oriented. And whenever I have the opportunity, I always do what I can to educate the security operatives so that next time they meet a young person, they will not harass them, but they do their work with intelligence and it makes life easy for everyone. That's what I think. Hansen is in Uyoanda. They've been able to put together the e bomb that e -bomb tech week, that acquire bomb tech week. Uh, tell us about that and your parting message on the day. A, platform, a common platform, a gateway to Africa's new tech destination, which is acquire bomb, and that's what we are building towards. And um, it's happening 28th October to 2nd November, it's a whole week. And coincidentally, Innovation Support Network Nigeria will also have their annual gathering that week. So the whole Nigeria's tech ecosystem will be in Uyo, the whole of that last week of October. And we are looking forward to also having you there. My parting shots is to Nigerian youth, when you click, you are definitely going to be having access to information. Whatever information you have access to, use it to build our local communities, your local communities, so that Nigeria can be a place others who want to jump to.